Hello there, welcome. It's Dromai against Bolton. We decided not to start out here to get a bit of a lead in the damage race. We still have the Seeker Smiths available to us to get Ash even going second. Against Bolton, establishing board presence is really, really good because he has limited ways to deal with our dragons. And every one of them will... Uh, protect our life total. Usually Bolton just plays one card to charge his soul in the early game. This Bolton might be having a really bad draw um, as he relies on the Illuminate to hit to get something into his soul here. Seeing that Imperial Flame on top now is exactly what we want. <coughs> this way we don't even have to crack a gold to make Ash. Um, but we can actually put on a lot of dragons onto the board right away. Now the nourishing emptiness isn't interesting for us as we already put a attack action card into the graveyard. We will definitely pitch that away. And for the second dragon um, we have quite a bit of decisions. Since we already played a red card in the tome, the flame call awakening is really good here. It will let us fetch a phoenix flame. And that way we can create another ash. Also, we are able to crack the gold token here as well. To even fetch up a card for our arsenal. Other than that, Bolton is looking to to keep the board as clear as possible while still presenting threats. But that he does need cards on his soul though, and quite a bit. We are going to play Chromai out here. This way we either leak damage or force him to have blockers hoppers rather and the burn them all is just going to get put into arsenal so we have a nice turn starter since this uh, matchup is quite aggressively played burn them all is also a really important card because it will let us push lots of damage okay so you had one pop up but that's fine um now he plays a second one, and now his hand is really drastically diminished. If we're lucky, there's actually not, not much he can he will be able to do here. Yep, so he doesn't actually... Because he only had two cards, he can't play one and get a, a card in his soul, which is exactly what we want. Because without cards in his soul, he won't be able to get his attacks go again. Now playing out the mirror guy here. Um, into the command and conquer is, is the perfect way to sequence things. Though, <clears throat> I should have been playing the burn them all here too, just to get that extra arcane damage in for free. Command and conquer, really good against those aggressive decks. We will force Bolton again to give us cards or his equipment, which isn't bad either. really struggling because he doesn't actually want to block with the soulbound resolve his chest please um, or rather he wants to get the max value out of this which he won't get um, that soulbound resolve says if you defend with this you may charge a card and then you prevent one extra damage this turn Now we're sitting quite comfortably again. We have pre ash, we have board presence, we have a turn starter in our arsenal. Now that hand we we drawn into drawn into isn't perfect, but it's it's okay. All the, the low HP dragons like Caloria 
shouldn't be too important in this matchup. If we already have Temple, they are quite good. And just like taxing his hand even more. But while we're still building up that board, we want those either those Ash Wings because they are a menace to clear, or those really high HP drinks. Now we're getting punished for not playing this burn them all out earlier. But it's fine, we've got the Flamescale Furnace as the backup here. Which hopefully doesn't come to come back at us later. Yeah, now our turn doesn't look very impressive. But Bolt still doesn't have anything in his soul. So he will struggle to, to make something out of his cards too. Yep, so just blank for. That's usually what he wants to do in his very first turn. <clears throat> just send one attack and get his soul going. But now he's forced to do that now. And we can swing with very high value attacks at him. While also building a board afterwards. Yeah, as I've been saying, I don't value Calora here too much. I'd rather get those three guaranteed damage in and the the extra dragon anyways. That will either get me a popper or one damage in every turn from now on. We want to keep banishing our attack actions from the graveyard every time burn them all triggers, so we get um, to possibly play a nourishing emptiness later on. Unfortunately, we drew both now, so that plan is down the drain. Our hand doesn't do much. We don't want to play out the nourishings. We can. We do want to play out blaze headlong and. Playing out Enlightened Strike isn't bad either. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we can't really do that efficiently. So I rather keep my life total a little bit higher. I don't want to block as of yet though, because there could be Command and Conquer following next or something. Now once again, using up a soul here. So Bolton managed to put out quite a bit of damage, but as I said, we are able to block out a bit here. And then just throw a bit back again. While having that burn them all and our dragon support. And Bolton just doesn't doesn't acquire that, that those soul points, so he'll, he'll still have a tough time. Not having a popper here either is, is really really annoying for him. He might only be running six, maybe nine, so it's quite likely that he still has a hand or two without one. But every time he does, we can take quite a bit of his cards with the Caloria. So that, yeah, he actually wants to clear it. Small hand meant though that that was the only thing he was able to do. Now we just play out the mirror guy again. And then there's a an argument to be made to keep the sink below in, in the arsenal. But honestly, if we just keep putting on the pressure here, there's no way of him coming back. So we're just playing out the embers to make sure that every turn from now on we can trigger that burn them all. And Bolton doesn't run AB here because it's a race. It does make sense that he doesn't want to pitch in that stuff anyways.
And now we basically can just block out and send one Ashwing every turn. But if he doesn't present enough damage, we're glad to just keep our hand and strip everything from him from now on. Starting with the V of the Vanguard, that's just 5 vanilla damage, so no need to respect that. That is the card that gets Soul going, though. A little too late, unfortunately for him. Also, that even if he does have the attack react that, that gains that, that attack plus 3, we're still on 4 HP. So no need to respect that, we can just keep our hand. And now blocking becomes a little more efficient. <clears throat> because, yeah, we could like, just keep a little more of our hand here, play out that Yenderai. But if they have a popper, that Yenderai basically doesn't do anything. So we'd rather block with it. Only play out one, burn them all. Which puts them on an even faster ticking clock. And, yeah, we need to play that out first, so our dragons get go again. Now, every turn he'll get two arcane damage that he can't prevent. So he actually, if he wants to have two more turns, he needs to block out Mirror Guy and then pop an Aether Ashwing or block all of them, which would mean he doesn't have a hand. So he is basically in the Aether Ashwing lock right now since he doesn't even have a popper so that is gg for bolton from my holding up strong as i said before a really strong meta contender right now and i'm sure we'll be seeing more of her if you want to see other gameplay videos make sure you you stick around on my channel and i'll see you later